Running the football in Madden 24 is fun, but you probably could be doing it better. Let's dive into three pre-snap reads that will help you run the ball better against those daunting defenses. If you like the content, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Blue lady, ready, go. First pre-snap tip is reading the Mike linebacker on run plays. I'm sure you've all noticed an M floating above a defender's head before each play. That M represents the Mike linebacker within the defense and is for you to understand where the double team is going on a run play. On almost every inside run, there is a double team on the nose tackle with the center and right or left guard depending on the run play. After the double team is initiated, the guard or center then looks to move up to the second level of the defense and block the Mike linebacker. If the Mike linebacker gets blocked, it's more often than not resulting in solid gains on the ground. If the guard or center doesn't make it to the Mike linebacker, it's on you to make the guy miss and you're probably getting stuffed. It's okay if it's not a big run gain every time, sometimes the defense just wins a play. It's football. Outside runs apply the same blocking principle where the Mike linebacker is the player you want the double team to move up to. Except this time instead of the center, it's double teams with your guards, tackles, and tight ends. The same principle applies as before where you want the double team being initiated near the area that you're running the football. If your lead blocker gets to the Mike on time or early, the initial hole on the play will likely be pure daylight. If the lead block gets stuck on the double team longer than usual, a cutback run can help suck that Mike linebacker down into your guard and free you up down the middle of the field. The second pre-snap read that will help you in the run game is reading the box. The box is the defensive running zone that starts 5 yards outside the tackle on each side and 7 yards deep off the line of scrimmage. Madden does a great job in assisting with the red and green squares on each side of the center to showcase this. If the box is green, you have equal or more blockers than defenders, and if it's red, I'm sure you get it, there's more defenders than blockers. However, don't take these colored boxes as gold because they can be a little misleading at times. For example, calling a weak side run can sometimes show a red box, but it can still be a good run play if your weak side lineman is able to account for that Mike linebacker. You can also manipulate these red and green zones by motioning a tight end from one side of the formation to the other. To do that, press B or circle on your controller until your desired player is highlighted in blue, then hold the left stick in the direction you want him to motion, and boom, you're good to go. I know I keep talking about the Mike linebacker, but if you put a guy in motion, try to do a check to make sure your double team is still hitting the linebacker standing in the direction of your run. While there are times you can be successful running the ball into a red zoned area or manipulating zones with motion, there is one instance where you should almost always audible out of a run. Those times are when you see a stacked box. A stacked box is when the defense has eight or more guys within that area. Outside of a goal line formation, you should instantly be audibling out of a run and into a play action or quick throw like a slant or out route. There are certainly times defenses will drop back in coverage, but a quick throw will bust a stacked box more often than not. You can run play action in a stacked box, but you'll want to do my third pre-snap read first. When running the ball or audibling to a play action, it's best to motion a player to see if the defense is running a zone or man coverage. To identify the coverage, motion your tight end or slot receiver to the other side of the field and if a linebacker or safety chases your receiver across the field, it's man coverage. If the defender stays home and the defense only shifts slightly, it's zone coverage. If you don't see a linebacker follow your tight end, audible out of play action and stick to a normal run or throw. The reason for checking out of a play action is because linebackers playing zone are less likely to bite on the run fake and stay home in the middle of the field, potentially breaking up a pass or intercepting it. You can run and throw the ball in both man and zone coverage, but it's highly advised not to run play action into a zone defense. And that right there are three pre-snap tips that can help you run the football better in Madden 24. If you enjoy the video, please tap a like on it as it helps the video out tremendously. I'll have other videos that break down passing tips in man versus zone coverage, so make sure to tap that subscribe button to catch that content. This is Josh Robinson with Joystick Gamer. Thank you as always, and stay gaming out there.